Hello and welcome. In this video we're going to show that the series 1 times 2 plus 2 times 3 plus 3 times 4 plus so on and so forth to n times n plus 1 is equal to simply n times n plus 1 times n plus 2 all over 3 for all positive integers. So that means n is equal to 1, 2, 3, so on and so forth. And we're going to use mathematical induction to show that this equation is true. Now, mathematical induction is a concept that might be a little bit abstract and difficult to understand in the beginning, but once you have practiced it, you'll find that it is actually quite easy to apply and it is um, quite a fascinating concept. So let's have a go. Now there really are only two steps to the inductive method. The first step being what's called the basis test. And that is to see if the given equation or condition holds true for n is equal to 1. Generally, n is equal to 1 will be used. Sometimes a different integer may be used if it's more convenient, but in most cases, we'll use n is equal to 1 for the basis test. And then once we've proved that the equation holds true for n is equal to 1, the second step is called the inductive test, where we show or prove that it holds true for all positive integers. So it holds true for n is equal to 1, 2, 3, so on and so forth. Alright, let's see how this works with our problem. So number 1, let's see if our equation holds true for n is equal to 1. So the left hand side of our equation is going to equal 1 times 1 plus 1 if I sub in n is equal to 1 into our general term. And that's going to result in the left hand side equaling 2. Our right hand side if I sub in n is equal to 1, I'll get 1 times 1 plus 1 times 1 plus 2 divided by 3, which is equal to 1 times 2 times 3 divided by 3. Now the 3's will cancel each other out, and I'm left with 1 times 2, which is equal to 2. So the left hand side is equal to the right hand side and therefore the equation holds true for n is, n is equal to 1. So we've successfully done the basis step. Now because it's true for n is equal to 1 I'm going to assume that the equation holds true for n is equal to any integer. So when n is equal to when n is equal to k. So that means I'm going to get 1 times 2 plus 2 times 3 plus 3 times 4 plus so on and so forth to k times k plus 1 equals k times k plus 1 k plus 2 all divided by 3 I'm going to assume that this is true so if that's true then here is the inductive step step number 2 
is it true then for the next term n is equal to k plus 1? So that means I get 1 times 2 plus 2 times 3 plus 3 times 4 plus dot 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 k times k plus 1. Well the next term is going to be, and I'll write it in purple to make it clearer, k plus 1 times k plus 2. So basically k plus 1 is equal to n and k plus 2 is equal to n plus 1. And since I've added this extra term, or the next term should I say, to the left hand side, I'm going to add the next term to the right hand side as well. So that's going to equal, well the first term in the right hand side remains, so k times k plus 1, k times 2, sorry, k times k plus 1 times k plus 2 all over 3 plus the next term k plus 1 k plus 2 right at this point in time I've got two choices as to what I'll do for the next step which is either to make the left hand side equal to the right hand side or to get the right hand side to be of the same form as what we had originally which is n times n plus 1 n plus 2 all over 3 so in this case it's easier for me to um, get the right hand side into or to try and get the right hand side to the original form. If I can get the right hand side to the original form then I have proven that and I've proven that this equation will hold true for our condition which is n is equal to all positive integers. So let's do that. So on the right hand side I've got k times k plus 1 k plus 2 all over 3 plus k plus 1 k plus 2 well I can factor out a k plus 1 times k plus 2 from here k plus 1 k plus 2 outside of k divided by 3 plus 1 So that's just k plus 1 times k plus 2 factored out. And now if I make a common denominator between k divided by 3 plus 1, I'll get k plus 1, k plus 2 remains the same. Sorry, k plus 2. But I'm going to get k plus 3 over 3. and this divide I can actually extend to the whole thing so if I write that a bit better I'll get k plus 1 k plus 2 k plus 3 all over 3 well I have to note now that n is equal to k plus 1 okay so I'm going to substitute n back into this expression here. So the first term will be n, the second will the second term will be n plus 1 and the third term will be n plus 2 all over 3. And we're right back to where we started Hence we have used induction to prove that 1 times 2 plus 2 times 3 plus 3 times 4 and so on and so forth to n times n plus 1 is definitely equal to n times n plus 1 times n plus 2 all over 3.
for all positive integers. So I hope this video has helped you better understand how to use mathematical induction. Please give me a thumbs up if it has. If you are a math student, please feel free to subscribe for future videos that may help you on assignments or exams. If you have any question that you would like me to do a video on, please feel free to comment on any of the videos that you've seen. Thanks for watching and I hope you learned something.